Simplesoft HCM Image 30 is the first image to deliver drop zones on selected fluid pages within HCM. Drop zones are a PeopleTools 857 feature that enables customers to add a custom subpage on a fluid page through configuration. Drop zones enable you to add text, links, or editable fields to existing PeopleSoft fluid pages, eliminating the need to customize delivered objects. To accomplish this, use the Configure Drop Zones page. Enter the component ID or a partial ID using a wildcard in the component field. The Configure Drop Zones page will list the drop zones available by page. We always deliver drop zones at the top and bottom of a page and occasionally in the middle. This slide lists some of the components and features that have drop zone enabled pages. The HCM Application Fundamentals documentation contains a more complete list of components that we deliver enabled for drop zones. This completes our demonstration of drop zones for HCM. HCM Image 30 delivers fluid benefits enrollment pages optimized for mobile devices. The Open Enrollment tile on the Employee Self-Service homepage directs you to the Open Enrollment pages. The Open Enrollment Activity Guide has a pull-out slider that displays the steps in the process. The Benefits Enrollment page shows the Summary section at the top with a Review Enrollment button. The Benefit Plan tiles are stacked in a single column, and you have the Submit Enrollment button at the bottom of the page, visible at all times. The default view hides the left and right-hand information panels. The Benefit Plan pages are also optimized for mobile phones. Here, you see a Medical Plan page. Expand the sections and you can easily enroll dependents, change your plan choices, and select the primary care provider all from your smartphone. Image 30 also introduces optimized mobile fluid pages for benefit statements. The default view hides the navigation collection. The benefit statement page displays your statement information in a compact and easy to read manner. Also in Image 30, the Fluid Benefit Statements feature is enhanced to allow administrators to send email notifications and alerts to employees when confirmation statements are ready for viewing in employee self-service. This completes our discussion of the Benefits Fluid Enhancements. Enhancements to Candidate Gateway include configurable email notifications that can be sent to candidates when they register on Candidate Gateway. Applicants can also receive email notifications when they have jobs in unsubmitted status based on the configurable setup. This completes our discussion of the Candidate Communication Enhancements. In Image 30, employees can access actionable tiles with more information up front for time and labor on a single page using both desktop and mobile device. Employees can review the information before accessing respective pages for further actions. You can see the summary of daily, weekly, and payable time information at the tile level. The Enter Time tile displays the time reporting status for the current period. The status bar displays the relative proportion of reported and scheduled times for the period in the colors configured in the system. The exception tile shows the number of exceptions for the employee. You can tap this tile to access the View Exceptions page to view the exceptions in detail. The Payable Time tile displays the last time period for the employee, the number of total hours worked, and the estimated gross. The Report Time tile displays different elements depending on the type of time reporter you are. As an elapsed time reporter, click the button to enter your time information on the Report Time page. For a Punch Time reporter, the button on the tile shows the next logical punch. By clicking the button, you submit the punch without having to access the Report Time page. 
Or you can use the Actions button to select a different punch type or use View Full Site to open the Report Time page. A job selector is available as a banner on the top of the page for employees with multiple job profiles. You can select the job you want to work on from the drop-down and view the details. This completes our demonstration of the Actionable Tiles for Employee Time and Labor Transactions feature. Time and Labor provides the ability to auto-approve time that is reported by managers on behalf of their employees. Any time reported or modified using the delivered fluid time pages, including fluid timesheet, daily time, and weekly time, will be auto-approved when this option is selected. Auto-approval occurs when the person reporting or editing time is the immediate manager of the employee in the workflow. This option will also auto-approve any time reported using mass time or rapid time pages. This completes our discussion of the auto-approval for time submitted by a manager feature. HCM Image 30 enables the acknowledgement or attestation of time entered using fluid time entry pages. This option works in conjunction with the employee signature acknowledgement options that are set up under the timesheet controls for workgroups. In the Employee Signature Acknowledgement ID section, select the option to require an electronic signature on all submitted timesheets. Select an Employee Signature Acknowledgement ID. This is using the Acknowledgement Framework and will allow you to control what fields you capture with the sign-off. Specify the message catalog entry for the text of the employee signature statement. After the setup, a modal window appears and requests your acknowledgement when you try to report time on fluid time entry pages, including enter time, report time, and weekly time entry. This completes our discussion of the Enhancements to Fluid Time and Labor MSS Report Time Attestation feature. To ensure that document reviews can continue without disruption when termination occurs, ePerformance delivers a back-end process that automatically transfers documents from terminated managers to their next-level up managers. This auto-transfer process uses the Direct Reports functionality to identify the next-level up managers for documents based on the access type selected in the setup. When the process is complete, new managers receive email notifications about the documents that have been transferred to them. Administrators can view the auto-transfer statuses of documents on the Auto-Transfer Document Status page and follow up on the documents that didn't transfer automatically. This completes our discussion of the ePerformance Auto-Transfer Documents feature. HCM Update Image 30 enables administrators to configure employee snapshot to display several performance history document types for an employee. When you access employee snapshot performance history tiles and pages, the system displays multiple document types for an employee when available. This completes our discussion of the employee snapshot multiple performance document type configuration and display feature. PeopleSoft continues to expand fluid technology across payroll applications. In this image, HCM delivers a fluid work center for Canada, providing payroll employees one-stop access to work items, links, queries, and reports as they complete their payroll processing tasks. You can personalize the work center display and configure the data filtering options for work items to maximize efficiency. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Work Center for Canadian Payroll feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.